Braden, welcome. Hello there. It's the rise of the mommy comedy, oh. isn't it? It is the rise of the mommy comedy, I hear you sighing. No, 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 I, you know, nothing, nothing against a good, what do you call it? A, mommy a, a, a comedy. A mum that doesn't sound mum, right, mum does it? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a corporation that you don't want to mess with. <laughs> mum corp. Um, yes, Bad Moms 2, Bad Moms Christmas. And you know what, I have to confess, I didn't see the first film mm. of Bad Moms. Can we just call it Bad Mums, just because we're in New Zealand? Yes, that, we can. Thank we'll you. call it Bad yep. Mums. Um, do you know what? I went into this with very low expectations. However, I think this is one that you need to watch. Leading into, get excited for Christmas now, because it will get you excited. I was sitting there starting to sing Christmas songs. Um, <laughs> but also, I just think it's one of those good ones that you just have in the collection that you pull out, along with, and these are big names I'm saying, along with your Die Hard, along with your Love Actually, those, so, wow. those movies that you just throw in at Christmas time. You were impressed. I was yeah. impressed just because there's some really good lols right. in this, some yeah. really good lols. So let's have a wee look at some of those. Remember when the holidays were actually fun? Take hey, Christmas back. Oh, Couple yeah. Things, so many swear words in this, honestly, like left, right, and center. All of the words you can possibly imagine, they are in there. I quite like colorful language from time to time, so I'm okay with it, but it's not even one that you sort of pop on with the kids in another room because right. you guarantee that right. any second they might walk in, they will hear words beginning with letters that you don't want them to hear. Right. Um, also, at the end, without giving too much away, it sets itself up really nicely for a third film. Yeah. Um, particularly, and I think, I don't know this for certain, that would have Susan Sarandon right at the front. And she plays a really cool grandmother in this. And I suspect that we're going to either see Bad Moms 3 or Bad Grandmoms. Isn't there a movie where the same thing essentially happens, but it's the guys? And then the this part two of the movie was Their Fathers Come? Yes, it's, and I can't think of the name of it at the Will moment. Will Ferrell but, and yeah. Mark Wahlberg. So Someone's frantically looking at the, the TV same, now going, oh. They should know this. Mm. Um, it is, <laughs> so it's kind of the same concept. We see at the end that the three grandmothers go to head off to Vegas for New Year. So I imagine they will pick up from awesome. there and that will be funny as well. Um, the latest instalment in Saw. Now, do you know what? I'm just not into these films. I, oh, you see, I am. I yeah. love them. Well, yeah. I, d I just find them a little bit repulsive, but the, the <laughs> reports that people... A little bit, a little bit. Um, the reports from people online with this latest, which is Jigsaw, people so excited to see this, saying great things about it because it just delivers on what you expect from a Saw movie, and right. that is real psychological stuff, but also that wow, just gets your heart going, as you will see from this. Any identification on the victim? Who's a piece? But she's not. He's been dead for 10 years. It's not him. Can't be. This was on the body. The truth will set you free. Help! <laughs> Okay, I see the saw there. That's yeah. right up my alley. It is? Yep. Yeah, look, the, the thing is, um, both of these films available at Hoyt's Wido Park, which have, of course, got the recliners. If I was going to see Saw, I'd have to be in the recliner with a blankie <laughs> and one of my titties from when I was about three doing the viewing like this. Through your fingers. Yes. Through my fingers. <laughs> that's how I tend to watch films like this. So, as I say, um, that would be a great place to watch those. Nice work. Now, uh, in terms of events, KFC Edge Fest kicks off from this afternoon in Christchurch. It's in Wellington on um, tomorrow and then Sunday in August. Auckland, Jason Derulo, Astrid S, Savage, Jonas Blue. This is his latest. You would have done a couple of edge fests in your time. They are great, good value for money. A whole group of artists, good vibes. Yeah, re really worth it. So get your tickets. I think this yeah. is the the first. This is the start of summer. Really, we're starting to see those festivals come through yeah. now. So this will be the as first year I have to pay, by, pay for my edge fest ticket. Oh, first year, yeah, you've been out of it longer than that. Uh, Drake <laughs> is tonight at Spark Arena as well. Can you believe that this song is two years old now? Used to call me on my cell phone. 
I just don't get Drake, and I was going, I, I, what's the thing about Drake? I'm not, I, I can't be bothered with it until I went on YouTube and saw that this song had 1.3 billion views, yeah, yeah. and went, uh. clearly just me then. <laughs> uh, I do get Vic Runga though, she's with special guests celebrating 20 years of Drive at the Opera House in Wellington tonight, 20 years since we first heard Sway, so that's a good thing to get along to if you happen to be in the capital. And thanks again to Hoyts for getting behind the entertainment here on the cafe. You can check out today's movie picks in their reclining cinema at Wido Park. And if you'd like to win a double pass to check out The Comfort for Yourself, you can do that now on our Facebook page. We have five of those to give away. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Braden. Always a pleasure. Have a great weekend.